<laughs> In the late 60s, uh, my late father, John Kurt Bride, uh, produced a documentary called Boomerang, which was the first all-Australian uh, non-famous TV series to be sold around the world. And it had people like Helen Reddy, Lenny Newton John, lots of people who weren't well-known, who were very young. And I watched it on video, uh, which we had on video a few years ago after my mother passed away, and I was just going through things, and I looked at it. And there was a great honesty and an open plan thing that he had going, which now Channel 4 and all these places and, and TV is based on, where you can see all the lights and you can see all the rigs, but before then, everything was closed away. So when I came across this venue, having seen it had only just been opened, um, I wanted to find somewhere when I was getting the company together that would be original, honest, different, wouldn't need much of a set, was vibrant, no history, and uh, we found this place. So, uh, and as you can see, this amazing rig supplied by Viking um, uh, is here. And I think it, it's sort of a homage to my father, but also to all of us who've worked here. And I'm just very proud of, of the way that it looks, and uh, pay homage to my late father as well. I think he'd be very pleased and proud that we're continuing in his tradition. Um, so thank you very much to Peter Beck, too, for deciding with me one day, how can we stage this? And I said, well, I'd like to do it just here, uh, just normally, you know, with the auditorium out this way. And Peter said, well, why don't we do it in the semi-round? And I said, really? This is, this is my first time directing for the stage. I've directed for radio a lot and acted for many years. But then I said, okay, why not? So we did, we did. And, and here it is in this beautiful thing. Uh, and it's been a, a great success. So thank you very much, Peter, for, for, for that and many other visions. He knocked this corner bit out of the whole set there within one afternoon. I mean, it's, it's extraordinary, the, the love and commitment that everyone has shown. I'm very proud of this company because um, We've got people here tonight who never had it before. Sam from Spinney's Juice Bar, well, it's first Juice Bar. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and we were looking for two Spanish people, and I was thinking of casting all different kinds of people. Uh, and uh, we, we did consider Darling Tony as well, but he was on holiday, so I couldn't get hold of him. <laughs> he would have been great, but we still get a place for him. Um, and we've got people like Kyle, who we met in Pizza Express one evening. And, and uh, you know, he's just a wonderful guy. Um, and so, and, and people like Robin Watson, of course, who, who I've known for years from London, who's here, and, and he's a great actor and, and a real friend. And the investment that people have made, everybody has made, the stories, people returning after many years, the assistant director, one of them, I've had about eight assistant directors on this, it's amazing. Um, Hamilton Wilson, with Hamilton, from Zumba Norwich, just across the way, who we've done an association with. Um, Hamilton was just saying to me now, you know, it's 25 years since he's been doing something like this, and he's a, a, such a, a, a great mind and such a great friend to have uh, supporting me. And Elva as well, who's a great director and director of the night as well. Who she is, hiding. Uh, Elva, <laughs> who's, who's wonderfully humble and who brought in the uh, German family brilliantly for me. Um, I spoke to two directors. One director said that uh, he'd cut the German family because he wasn't sure about them. Uh, the other director said he loved the German family, so I, I, I thought we'd keep them in. And I absolutely love the German family, and I'm very grateful sure. for you for taking care of them so much. And this play is extraordinary. There's so many different people coming on and off, and, and uh, which makes the people with loads of work to do on stage have different things to play with. them. everyone's invested so much energy when they come on. You can see by the commitment, starting way over the unique venue here, starting way over the bridge. We should do Romeo and Juliet here one week. You know, it's 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 extraordinary how how they're investing right away. And that's what I've been saying to everyone: invest, invest, invest. Now, speaking of investment, <laughs> Peter Barrow, my very, very dear friend, Peter and I have known each other 17 years, and uh, we've been mates, and we thought we'd do something creative, and we formed a creative partnership earlier this year to do stuff to celebrate people that we know in Norfolk, and we can't celebrate everyone we know, uh, but uh, we thought we'd start with, with this at the concert last week. Peter's put up 10 grand for this, and, uh, and uh, it's a lot of money. He's likely to lose about four or five. Um, but he's returned to acting after 25 years. Is it about 25 years? Yay! Yeah. Upwards of 18. Upwards of 18. There's an extra. And congratulations. Brilliant. Uh, Rainbow Hall Foods, our sponsors for the Gala Night, and, and also Dogfish Catfish. Um, thank you very much for, for that, for the beautiful organic wine and all of the stuff and, and the champagne and everything. I'm a great believer, uh, having worked on the arts program at Future Radio for three years, having got that uh, up and running, that the way forward, and I thought this before I moved back to Norfolk, uh, the way forward for the arts has always been through business and through partnership with business and the arts. I don't believe it's through the government because um, the government comes and goes, it changes its mind, around and there's so many boxes to tick, anyone who's a teacher knows about box ticking, 
Um, I, I, I'm not into box ticking, I'm into philanthropic investment. And, and uh, I'm also into people, uh, businesses locally. I've also headed up the Madden Market uh, campaign to relaunch the uh, idea of a studio theatre for, for the education department. And, um, you know, I'd like somebody like Gerald or someone to say, this is the new Gerald's Theatre, and it'll be there in a morning or whatever the word is read, yeah? Um, and uh, so I, I think that's the way forward. And so I'm very grateful that uh, Rainbow Whole Foods and Dogfish Catfish, as well as Peter, uh, all put this together. Um, very quickly, the casting team have been extraordinary. We rehearsed in the evening, after work, everybody's work for the day, <coughs> amateur, professional, whatever it is. We've got people here who've worked for 20 years as, as, as professional actors. Uh, Beck and I went to drama school together. Here we are doing stuff in Norwich together. It's so fantastic. Um, and working with people who are just starting out and all that. But I really want to congratulate them. I know Tim's here tonight from the Madame Market Theatre. And, and you know uh, you know what it's like to, to work. You've been a dentist for years. And, and then you, you and I were in my first play 25 years ago. So. And, uh, and I never knew how you were a dentist and then acted every night as well. It's extraordinary. So uh, anybody who doubts the commitment, have a go if you've got a day job. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, usually with actors, you get eight hours rehearsals you know, for a month. We've had three hours a night, so it's incredible. Very nearly finished. Um, Sue, <laughs> Sue Ball and the venue. Now, I came here looking for a venue and I spoke to a very nice guy in the, in the cafe uh, over the way there. And I uh, said, who should I talk to? And he said, try Sue Ball. It's who you meet. She has been amazing. Her vision of this place is fantastic. What she wants to do with the place, the fact that she's allowed us to take it over this week and last week for the concert is amazing. I adore her, and I'm just absolutely delighted that she said yes. I think yes is a really good word. Um, I'd like, if the Norfolk and Norwich Festival would like, for us to come back and do this here again during the two weeks of the Norfolk and Norwich Festival. So if you know anybody or think that's a good idea, um, do tell them. They did come here on, on press night, and I think they had a really good time. But I think, you know, the Norfolk and Norwich Festival is all about celebrating people coming to Norfolk, that's brilliant, but it's also about celebrating people in Norfolk. And they know that very well. I think um, under Jonathan Holloway it's really developed in celebrating Norwich very well, but I think there's still a way to go. And I think local actors, truly local actors, we've only got one person from Canada, but truly local <laughs> actors, uh, you know, uh, but who, and he's just bought a house last year in Norwich, so he's now one of the last. Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's very exciting, so uh, let's hope we may, may bring it back to you. Um, I think that is it. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for being here, and uh, thank you. We'll see you again soon. Yeah.